This is the Enos Grenadier. It's the first time I'm looking at it too. It's a pretty impressive vehicle. I just sat inside it and uh, I like the look and feel of it. Real nice. I haven't... Uh, I like this. Bear with me. I don't know how this all works, but... Now this is a real truck, I'm impressed. I like this. The build quality really feels solid. Very nice. I forget if this thing has a turbo in it or not. I know it's got the BMW straight six. The build quality is really, really, really solid. Very impressive. Side is a little different. I'm not too much of a fan of this uh, sunroof, moonroof up here, especially in Florida because it's thrown down quite a bit of heat. I like the steering wheel. It's a little. It's got two horns in it. I know that. Uh, everything is in the middle here. I played around with the infotainment system. I guess it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. It's not the easiest to operate, or I'm not used to it. Uh, you have to use the touch controls. I'm not really a big fan of using touch controls, like touching the screen. But in this one, to change the radio channel and stuff, you kinda of have to. Um, again, not a big deal. This is pretty cool. It's got a compass in the middle, and then uh, the clock. Oh, is it a clock? Oh, oh no, that's altitude, and I don't know what 2.99 is. And the other funny part is I can't find how to adjust the backrest. Which is weird. I'm gonna sit in the back and see how it feels. The side steps are pretty much useless. It's a pretty high vehicle. And for somebody like me, I'm six foot. I have to use the side steps to get in it. Oh, very nice. Very nice seating back here. I wonder if I can adjust the backrest I guess not got plenty of room in the back too I'm not sure which model this is I think this is the Fieldmaster uh, I think this one has the differential locks I haven't seen them yet I don't know where they are but uh, I'm impressed 